Sometimes we are afraid of the dark. Sometimes our feelings get hurt. Sometimes we feel trapped by our worries, doubts, and fears. But we aren't trapped. God has the power to come in and break us out of the ordinary to lead us into the extraordinary. Hi, it is day five of Breakout VBS. I'm kind of sad, it's our last day. But what an amazing week that we have had learning how to escape from our fear. We've learned that we don't have to be afraid of God's plans for our lives because He's the one that's in control. We don't have to fear what others do, and we don't have to fear death, and we don't have to fear sin. Today, we get the last clue of our big puzzle, the ultimate answer of how to break out of our fear once and for all. Now, before we learn what our big idea is, I thought I would open up this box and free whatever is inside, but I found out that it was locked kind of tight. However, I have just a few keys here, so I'm going to see if I can get this box open, okay? Oh, that one. Nope. <laughs> just talk amongst yourselves. Hmm. All right, so this is taking a little longer than I thought. I know what, why don't you all look at the screen and see if you can find out what today's big idea is. Okay, can you shout it out for me? I'm a little busy. What? Oh, God frees us when we trust him. That's exactly right. And I'm going to trust him that I'm going to be able to get this box open. This is taking too much time, though, and I don't want to waste our time here in Bible school. I know what. How about if you stand up and sing, and I'll keep working on this box, okay? Stand up and sing with me. I will not be afraid. I will not. Still no luck. You know what? I'll tell you what, I'll keep at it and I'll meet you back here in a bit. Here's some clues for you to be on the lookout for. Let's see. Today I want you to watch for, oh, this looks interesting. It says, seek and you will find. 
be watching for this today. Oh, and I think these chains are going to show up here sometime today. And oh, this is fun. Be looking for this as well. I'm going to work on this box while you're gone. Let's see what our reporter Randy has found today. Wait, what? These are keys to the prison. Hi, everyone. This is Get Me Out of Here, the show where we visit the world's greatest, hardest, and most difficult escape rooms and talk to the experts who conquer them. So today, my notes say that we're talking to Peter, who has been put in a jail cell for telling people about Jesus. Oh, no, it's Travis. Travis? Well, you, you were put in a prison cell for telling people about Travis? No, I'm Travis. Well, my notes say I'm supposed to be talking to Peter, so who are you? I'm Travis, one of the prison guards who was chained to Peter's side. So, why were the prison guards chained to Peter's side? Uh, just to make extra sure that he doesn't escape. Okay, so, where's Peter now? Oh, he escaped. H how is that possible? I mean, with the locked prison and an iron gate outside and legions of soldiers everywhere. I mean, and you're the, clearly holding the key. You don't know? Uh, one minute he was here, the next he wasn't. So it says here that, according to reports, God sent Peter free. Uh, I cannot confirm that. Okay, well my reports also say that God sent an angel to remove Peter's chains. He opened the door and the gates and let Peter out of jail. Eh, that's what some people say. Which Peter? Peter. I guess if anyone would know it, it would be Peter. Well, there you have it, folks. An impossible escape. But Peter did it. God set him free. If you want to be set free, I guess you know who to go to. God sets us free. God gives us freedom. So I'm Randy. Thank you for joining us for Get Me Out of Here. Good night. We've been talking all week about escaping, about breaking out of our fear. We saw Jonah's extraordinary escape out of the big fish. We saw how David escaped King Saul in the cave. We saw how Daniel escaped death in the lion's den. And then we saw Jesus escape death itself. All of those escapes have one thing in common, and that's God. God heard Jonah's prayer in the belly of that fish and told that fish to spit Jonah out. God was on David's mind when David chose not to kill King Saul, but to show him grace and forgiveness and just cut off a piece of his robe. God sent an angel to hold those lions' mouths shut and not to hurt Daniel in that cave filled with lions. And Jesus is God. So. What about Peter's escape? Peter was in prison for teaching about God, not because he had committed a crime or broken the law or really done anything wrong. He had to stand trial before Herod, and that was not going to end well for Peter. They chained Peter up between two prison guards. In your packet today is a slap bracelet that looks like this. Go ahead and get it out right now. You can decorate it later, but for now, we're going to pretend that they are chains, just like Peter's. So go ahead and put it on your wrist. The leaders wanted to make extra sure that Peter would never escape. They didn't like him teaching about Jesus. It looks like Peter is trapped. But they didn't realize that God was there with Peter and he had a better plan. The night before Peter was to be placed on trial, he was asleep, fastened with two chains between two soldiers. Others stood guard at the prison gate. Suddenly, there was a bright light in the cell, and an angel of the Lord stood before Peter. The angel struck him on the side to awaken him and said, Quick, get up! And the chains fell off his wrists. Then the angel told him, Get dressed and put on your sandals. And he did. Now put on your coat and follow me, the angel ordered. So Peter left the cell, following the angel. But all the time, he thought it was a vision. 
He didn't realize it was actually happening. They passed the first and second guard posts and came to the iron gate leading to the city, and this opened for them all by itself. So they passed through and started walking down the street, and then the angel suddenly left him. Peter finally came to his senses. It's really true, he said. The Lord has sent his angel and saved me from Herod and from what the Jewish leaders had planned to do to me. God sent an angel to rescue Peter. While a guard slept on Peter's right and on Peter's left, the chains just fell right off. The door to the prison just opened wide. The angel led Peter right out of the jail. Peter had to decide right then and there if he would put aside his fear of being caught and trust in God to follow his plan. Peter didn't know what was happening at first. He didn't understand. He thought that it was a vision, like a dream. But Peter had learned a long time ago not to be afraid, not to be afraid while in prison, but to trust God and his plan. Peter knew that God frees us when we trust him. He didn't know for sure that God would free him from being in prison, but he did know that God would free him from being afraid while he was in prison. We want to break out, to stop being afraid. We need God to do it. We might feel like we're trapped in anger. We get mad at just the slightest little thing. We might feel like we're trapped in fear. Everything makes us feel afraid, the dark and spiders and being alone. We might feel like we're trapped in worry. We're always asking questions like, oh, but, but what if? And, and we're just worried about anything that could go wrong and happen. When we feel trapped, we need to remember that God will free us from those feelings when we trust in him. We can be like Peter. When God's angel showed him the way out, Peter followed, even though he didn't understand what was happening at first. We can trust God. We don't need to feel trapped. Take off your chains. God has a better plan than this for you. Miss Nicole will remind us of that with our verse. Thanks for joining me this week. I sure hope to see you around Cornerstone Church this fall. Hi, kids. I'm Miss Nicole here in the Verse Center of our escape room. I wanted to get in on all the fun that you've been having in here. Can you find this in your packet? Let's say the verse that Miss Lindsay has been teaching as we slowly unwrap our gift. Jeremiah 29, verse 11. I have good plans for you, not plans to hurt you. I will give you hope and a future. Good job! Now that we have the wrapping off, we can set free whatever is inside. Because God has good plans for us, we know that he will set us free from whatever we're feeling trapped by. Maybe you feel trapped with fear or worry or anger or sin. When we trust in God's plan for us, we're no longer trapped. Open your egg. Look, it's a tiny craft kit. As you put the pieces on the cross, you can remember yesterday's story of Jesus breaking free from death. He died on a cross so that we can break free from our sin. You can also thank God for freeing us for the things that trap us, like our fear. We can thank God that he is the one we can trust, like Peter did. Stand up and sing with me. You, 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 you can trust God You can take Him at His word and give Him your heart You, 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 you can trust God It doesn't matter who you are You can trust God You don't have to be the fastest, strongest You don't have to hold your breath the longest You don't have to be a star It doesn't matter who you are you can trust God, definitely You can trust God, definitely You, 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 you can trust God You can take Him at His word and give Him your heart You, 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 you can trust God It doesn't matter who you are You can trust God You don't have to be the fastest, strongest You don't have to hold your breath the longest to be a star
trust God, you can take him at his word and give him your heart. You, 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 you can trust God. It doesn't matter who you are, you can trust God. You, 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 you can trust God. You can take him at his word and give him your heart. You, 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 you can trust God. It doesn't matter who you are, you can trust God. So, do you know the verse yet? You should after five days. Let me hear you say it real loud. Nicely done. You've really been paying attention this week at Breakout VBS. Let's see if Miss Heather knows our verse. Miss Nicole, I do know the verse. Jeremiah 29 11. I have good plans for you, not plans to hurt you. I will give you hope and future. Well, welcome back to our last demo. Can you believe it's Friday already? I've been having such a good time with all of you guys breaking free from fear. Sometimes fear can make us feel trapped. I have a confession. I'm a bit trapped right now. I found this sitting yeah. around and I yeah. thought I would try yeah. it on and now my finger is stuck. There should be one of these in your packet. Get it out and maybe you can help me. Look, this is what I did. I stuck my finger in the end like this. And now they're both stuck. I'm a little trapped. You try it. And now pull. Great, it appears to pull. I now have both fingers stuck. Um, do you ever feel trapped? Stuck? Call out some things that make you feel stuck. Maybe it's a math problem that's really, really hard. Maybe you feel trapped because you have a hard time kind of controlling your temper. Maybe you feel trapped because like we can't get together and have VBS at church the way that we normally would, right? So, you know, when we feel trapped and stuck, like there's just no way out, we need to remember to trust in God. God has a good plan for us. He has hope and a future planned, and he doesn't want us to feel stuck or trapped. I've been trying to pull my fingers out of this trap. That's not working. The trick is to push my fingers together, and voila, then they come out. Pulling made it worse. Pulling away from God's plan Choosing to do just what we want can often make us feel stuck and it can make our situation worse. Instead, when we push or when we move closer to God, suddenly we're free. We can break out of the trap, we can break out of the fear, and we can trust God's plan. I've had a blast with you guys this week. I really hope to see you at Friends Club in the fall. Bye! Hey guys, it's Miss Beth again. Welcome to our last day of Breakout VBS today. I think we can finally get our answer to what's the ultimate fear breaker. Now, we need to find our last clue, don't we? I'm so excited. All right, now, Miss Candy left us a message for our last clue, but I'm having a hard time figuring out what it means. Let's see. A, B, C, simple as one, two, three. Uh, invisible ink is all I see. A, B, C, one, two, three, invisible ink. <gasps> Wait, I think I get it. Invisible ink. It's a good thing that I have invisible ink revealer with me. Oh, this must be the last clue. All right, let's see. All right. Oh, I'm so excited. Are you ready? All right, let's see. Oh, I'm seeing something. Oh, 10, it's the number 10, that's our last clue. Yes, I'm so excited. All right, let's put this on our board. Now we have all of our numbers. All right, A, B, C, 
simple as one, two, three. Oh, I think I get it. Um, like for example, the number five. Uh, A, B, C, D, E. I bet it's the letter E. Oh, there it is, perfect. Um, all right, so we have five. What's the next? Um, 10. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, I, J, 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 J. All right, we got E and J. Now, um, five, 10. Oh, we got two 19s. I'm singing the alphabet song, we're good. Um, oh, S, perfect. All right, we got two S's. Now, the last one is 21. U. All right, now. All right, we have all our letters. I think we just need to, let's see, if we move these around, I think we're gonna get the answer to our question. Um, let's, J, E, S, U, S. Of course, of course Jesus is the answer. What's the ultimate fear breaker? Jesus is. He's the answer to all the things that make us feel trapped. Stuck. Have you ever felt that way? I know I have. Trusting in Jesus frees us from the fear of obeying God's plan. It, it frees us from being afraid of what others might do or say. Trusting in Jesus frees us from the fear of death and sin. God frees us when we trust in Jesus. Man, that's how we break out. That's so cool. Guys, you did a great job solving this puzzle with me this week. I am so incredibly proud of you. And you know what? I'm pretty sure Ms. Candy is going to be too. It has been such a good week hanging out with you. I've had so much fun in Breakout VBS. Now, remember guys, come see us here at Cornerstone Church because we have always got really great things going on. Thanks. Bye. Can you believe that Breakout VBS has come to an end? What an incredible week we have had escaping from our fears. Miss Beth told me you solved the puzzle. The answer to our question, how do we break out from our fear is what? Jesus, of course, of course he's the ultimate answer. He is the only answer. Because Jesus died on the cross to take the punishment for our sins, our fear is gone. We just have to believe in Jesus. We have to remember that God is in control, that he has good plans for us, and he has a beautiful home in heaven waiting for us. We have to do what God has planned for our lives. We do that when we ask him to forgive us for our sins. God frees us when we obey, when we forgive. God frees us when we pray. God frees us when we believe. And today we learned what? God frees us when we trust. Let's pray and thank God for his good plan. God, we've had such a great week here at VBS, even though it's been really different. Thank you for the good plan that you have for each of us. Help us to remember to obey you. Help us to remember to forgive. Help us to talk to you all the time we feel afraid and worried. Help us to know that we can believe in you and that we can trust in you, that your plan is best, that you are in control. In Jesus' name, amen. So Breakout VBS is done, but I still have to get this box open and whatever is inside should break out too. I've got one key left on this ring. Do you think this one will do it? Well, let me open it up and see. Oh, you are not gonna believe what is in here. Oh my goodness, do you wanna see? Do you wanna, come in, come in closer. Look what I have. Is this amazing or what? This is so cool! Thanks for being with us here this week. I know it's not our usual VBS here at Cornerstone Church, but I hope you had some fun anyway. It's been a crazy few months for you kids, and it's hard to understand why we had to be separated. 
why things had to change for us. But even when we don't understand, we can trust in God and in His plan. Remember, His plan is for us to have a hope and a future. So I hope I will be able to see you very soon. Remember, God loves you so much, and so do I. I'm praying it through. Stick around if you want to play the game for one last time. Hi, Detective Dan here. Your mission in this game, should you choose to accept it, is to memorize the pictures we show you. Then, I will take one away. Your job is to tell me which picture is missing. Let's get started. Look at these cabinets with locks. Which door is missing a lock? The green one. Great job. Memorize these animal footprints. Now, which one is missing? That's right! The bird! Great job! Look at the shapes on this wall. Which shape is missing? Yes! It's the heart! You're doing great! Memorize these pictures. Which picture is missing? That's correct! It's the dog! Look at these keys. Which key is missing? The red one. Nice job. Take a look at this. Which item is missing? The hamburger. Great job. You fulfilled your mission. <laughs>